Okay, so now we're going to do the um, faucet. And basically going to do it kind of the same way, but not really. I'm just going to make a cylinder here, about that size right there. Give it a little bit of height, right click to end the tool, or end the, uh, the thing, and uh, hit Z to zoom in on there. Uh, give it gray. You know, some people will probably say, well, you know, the handles aren't very modern, the sink is not going to be very modern, and, um, you know, what gives, and I never said the place that I lived in now was an upgrade, you know, and I kind of like the fact that a lot of the, some of the stuff that we're doing is modern, some of it kind of isn't. Um, the sink, you know, the kitchen is very small, so it's kind of compact, it's not going to be totally modern, and um, basically what what we're doing here is an apartment and we're keeping it real we're keeping it real to life not everybody lives in these 3d renders that you see all the time in magazines or uh, on the internet of you know 3d uh, you know elaborate uh, million dollar modern apartment living I mean you know that's just not real so we're gonna keep it as real as possible uh, I'm doing an inset here Besides, that's you know it's good to do that. You know it doesn't hurt to uh, try to keep it a little bit uh, more real than um, what everybody else is doing. Not everybody will put in their um, architectural uh, gallery, you know, something that we all would really live in. You know, I admire the people who actually model their bedrooms, <clears throat> and you know. Their bed's unmade, and they have magazines all over the place. There's crap all over the computer area, you know. I mean, that's that's real life right there. So We're kind of, you know, modeling some modern furniture and stuff, but, you know, otherwise we're kind of keeping it, um, kind of keeping it to something you and I both would uh, live in. That is, unless, you know, you really... Uh, live in something nicer than I do, then I guess uh, good for you then. Alright, I'm just going to hit OK. Could have just, just as easily created a bevel right there, but I didn't. I'm going to inset this. Okay, and then extrude down. So I'm gonna do it a little bit, and then go in. And I'm actually going to um, delete that. I'm going to ring select. Let's, uh, do a connect. Slide it up towards the top here. Okay. Ring. We'll do another connect two and pinch those to the sides like that. Do a ring here, connect just one. I don't need a pinch, you just slide it to the bottom and do a ring here. Connect, let's do two, and just pinch those apart, something like that, and then the same here. That way, when we add a turbo smooth on this, looks pretty decent. <coughs> What I'm going to do actually right here, I'm going to loop this and chamfer it some. I kind of want that to be, uh, have like a little hard edge to it. Okay. And then hit F4. Now I have that hard edge. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, now in the side view, or what is this, the left view? I want to go to the front view. 
What I want to do is create a spline. So I'm just going to come up a little bit like this, over, up like that, and down. And right click to end that. Go into the vertices of it, and we're going to do some filleting. Hard edge there, so I'm going to weld that. Uh, let's fill it this area, weld this, and that actually should be good enough. Now let's go to rendering, enable in render, enable in viewport. I'm going to wait for Max to uh, do what it does. Kind of get it lined up here. Take the thickness down to something that's actually going to fit in there. Zoom in on it. Hit M. Give it that gray material that we've grown to love. Make the thickness a little bit bigger. Yes, my faucet does come up like that and curve up, but I kind of want to fix it so it doesn't look exactly like that. Going to the vertices here. And just going to raise that up some. Kind of straighten that out. see here. Look at what I have for options. Just grab this and kind of straighten it. You can see that happen right there. And we look at it and that's a lot better. Okay. Let's select this and zoom in on it. Going to scale this down some like that. Okay, I'm just going to hide this, take this, <clears throat> and I'm going to take the sides down to about eight because we can throw a um, turbo smooth on that. I'm going to uh, right click it and convert it to an editable poly, leave it as is. And then what we're going to do is select all of these all the way through here. Okay. And then we're going to extrude it by local normal just a little bit. Kind of give it a lip and click OK. Then we'll come in here with our edges and do a ring select and connect with two and run the pinch up kinda close, we kinda want it tight so click OK. I'll select these and ring these as well kinda do the same thing. Right, let's increase it a little bit more to there. Kinda wanna do it here too, just one ring and slide it to the bottom. Something like that. And since we're at it, let's get under here. Select this polygon. It's been made. We can just delete it. Uh, do a loop. And um, since it's on the side here, we just come up here and Shift drag up once and twice. Now we have that. 
So we can add a turbo smooth to that. And when we look at it, there we go. We have a faucet. Except for this crazy butt end over here. So an easy fix for that would be to um, just select all the polygons. Uh, Alt select those and just delete that bottom cap right there. With this selected, we can just push it back down in there a little bit more. Turbo smooth, that fixes that. F4. And now we have a faucet. So cool. Unhide all. No. And a little look. And there we go. Alright, I kind of like that. Get everything out of my way. Hit Shift Q. We'll just render it a little bit for a second. That way we can see the uh, countertops or the uh, cabinet doors and then the countertop. <coughs> Excuse me. I think everything is looking actually pretty decent here. Yeah, definitely. Definitely things looking good. Got something on my screen that's making it look weird. I thought it was the render. Okay, so that is that. So in the next video, we're going to take our focus away from the counters now and kind of move over towards, I think, like uh, the stove. Kind of get the stove ready or the refrigerator. I'm not sure which one yet, but um, it's going to be one of those two. So um, save your work. Save as. And we'll say number nine faucet and save and there we go so in the next vid uh, video <laughs> next video in the next video we will be doing a stovey so yeah or a refrigerator or going outside and play I don't know one of the two so stick around for the next vid and I'll see you there <laughs>